Hi, Pep. Uh, congratulations. Just wondering how you view the rest of this tie, please. And also, may I ask you about Jack Grealish and yeah. Jeremy Doku's injuries, potentially, please? Oh, Jeremy, thing is fine. Jeremy, thing is fine. But oh, sorry, Bernardo Silva, sorry. Yeah. Bernardo has a big knock in uh, his uh, in his ankle. And uh, I didn't speak with the doctor, but it looks like muscular attack, but it's a pity because the last few days he was his mood and training session much, much better. And he was playing really good, really good. Um, he helped us to play in the right tempo against that team, especially in the first leg in the finals. You cannot just play so slow, but you cannot play so fast. In the team, like incredible, well organized. Uh, have to find the right moment, right tempo, and Jack help us a lot. But yeah, hopefully he can recover quick. So he he looked very upset as well. Yeah. Like, how was he? How was he afterwards? Yeah, he felt it. I think when go on the grass and started to complain, I said mm -hmm. There's something muscular. The players now feel it immediately. In general, with the with the match, are you, are you pleased with how your team after conceding the equaliser that they could control the game afterwards. Oh, we play really, really good. The right the right tempo should play. I know the game against here against Bayern Munich United is a really difficult team, really one. That's why the third goal helps us a lot to manage a little bit better and more calm the game there. But uh, we know each other better now, so they will prepare something, but we'll prepare something too. And and of course the first game in the last 16 always I'm so a little bit anxious, and pff, the team, the better team, the players behave and perform again really, really good. Sam? Pep, Pep, you spoke about Copenhagen's physicality before the game, but were you disappointed that he didn't get more protection from the referee? Well, we knew it, we talk about that. Every time we come here, they are so, you know, aggressive, but we had to handle it. I think the referee make a, a good job, and... What can I say? So at the end, they, they have to manage that, and it's what it is. So hopefully, Bernardo is not a big, 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 big issue, and and the rest of the yeah, in a few days we we have Chelsea at home, we have to recover as quick as possible. But you must have been pleased with the discipline that your players showed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. In, uh, we play. I don't know how many chances we got see it, the amount we had, knowing that it's really, really difficult. As a team, they don't come to take the ball. They defend the space, the space. They wait, you lose the ball, or you make a mistake for after goal. That you don't see a place, they come to press. No, they defend the space, look each other. That's why I have to be so patient and move the right uh, moments. It'd be a lot right, left, left, right, move them in the right moment. Attack them to don't consider transitions and the five plays in behind. We're playing in that and and after the quality of the players that, you know, Kevin today was involved in the three goals and Phil and everyone. Everyone was really, really good. I'm really pleased. Martin. Uh, Pep, with, with Jack, you, see, you said it's muscular. Will that be a few weeks, do you think? Then, in that I case? didn't speak with, uh, yeah, I said muscular. Sam, he want to continue, but we are not going to do the damage, even even words. So I didn't speak, you know, with the doctors. We'll make a test tomorrow, tomorrow, but I think a few days will be out, yeah. Mm. And uh, Kovacic and Gladio weren't here, were they? Serious or...? Uh, Kova, uh, Josko, yeah. Two weeks, three weeks. Have a ligament in the ankle. And Kova is uh, the best to come back. I think Thursday or Friday maybe we'll train with us and we'll see how that's, that's he feels. Unfortunately, it was two inches the training sessions. It's a big blow, but we need now with the schedule we have, we need the players fit. And unfortunately, now every game, every training session, we lose players. And that is not good. Anton? Pep, you talked about how hard Jack's been working to get back to his best, and today was the first time we've seen him start for a while. So how disappointed are you for him personally? Yeah, a lot. Considering, obviously... A know. lot, a lot. I don't want to see the players injured when they try to do it, of course. It's part of the business, so... I mean, how happy was Jack before the game to find out he was starting tonight? Yeah, of course I was happy. I never my career. Today I made my 900 games as a manager. I never found a player when I say you play, I'm happy. Never, ever. I think I will not have in my future 900 games. <coughs> I've got to wrap that, please. Um, I, obviously, the way that Copenhagen have played against Bayern and, and United show that they're a very tough team, but tonight you've had 27 shots, they've had one shot. 
on target, you've made it look relatively easy. Does that yeah. show how much belief you've got in this competition now? I know. You know how difficult when the people believe it's easy, make it easy, and it was not. Ask, ask by Munich and my Galatasaray and Man United how easy they are. It's a really, really tough game, a tough opponent, because I know it. We make a good meetings today. I show you the perfect, perfect images or the perfect concepts to the players understand which type of game they are going to face they're going to face tonight. So this is my job, always make a warning to the players. So the team is going to play, they have these attributes, this, this strength as a, as a team. And, uh, and they prove it, they fail it. So, but we behave with the character, personality, uh, the patient, and, and everyone was, was at a top, top level. Otherwise you don't, you don't make these results in Europe and, uh, any final, so it's, a, it's not a decisive game, it's a really, really good result and hopefully with our people we can make next step and go to quarterfinals. Pep, uh, you already said some of the things, but uh, can you just tell what Copenhagen did, did against you tonight that was made it difficult for you and uh, have you been able to, to say something to Jakob Nistrup after the game? No, I say hi, uh, shake hands. We'll see us in a few weeks in Manchester, and it's they're so compact and different structure, different structures. The first half, the second one, but the concept is the same. But <coughs> this type of games, you want to attack quicker than expect. They make a transition. They use offer a lot, and we want to make a, a right tempo, no slow, no fast, to make the this incredible stadium. Where the people are behind, so. Slow. I had a manager when I said, okay, when you start in a big, big stadium, with a lot, a lot of crowd and shout and the pressure, make 1,000 passes. It's not allowed to score a goal, just passes. And the stadium is go down. And this is what uh, we, we try to to build. So I said, you have to play a lot with Phil and Jack, Jack and Phil, Phil and Jack. In the right moment, make a runners and make a switch of plays. And the first half, they really perfect. Second half, that they played with five in the back, the space was not there. But that's why we had to prepare in our second leg in which system they're going to play and try to find the spaces because they are <coughs> they are not. So I saw the games against United at home and away and in Bayern Munich and how difficult how difficult it was for them. And I knew it and the players knew it and they they follow us and <coughs> and they play for that way. And that's why they're really pleased. Finish with some please. Hi, Pep. Um, <coughs> that second leg's next month, and, and you look at the games next month, United, Liverpool, Brighton, Arsenal. Good. I mean, seasons go, that feels yeah, like the big month, doesn't and it? And Arsenal, Aston yeah. Villa. Yeah, I know, I know all the schedule, the next six, seven games I have in my mind. All of them, yeah. yeah, that's that's good. We're going to prepare the game this one, <laughs> knowing that it's still not there, but it's one game at a time. So always, always we did that theory, so it doesn't matter. Now it's Chelsea, you know? come for the best moment of the season. They played really well against uh, Aston Villa. And, and I saw yesterday in hotel, we saw the game against Crystal Palace and they they play with a huge personality. And But now it's recovered and Chelsea, next one. Don't think far away, you arrive a moment, we play against Copenhagen and we are going to, yeah, to prepare it. Thank you guys. Have a lovely evening.